What's up guys, Nitro Kid 98 here. We're going to be discussing something uh, that was asked last night um, on the XTD versus OEM clutch review. And it was something I've never thought about doing a video on and I cannot believe I've missed it. It's what makes ra racing clutches different from other racing clutches. Basically what makes the stage two, stage one, and stage three, and stage four different. Now, this right here is a stage two XTD. This is an OEM clutch, and I'm going to show you a couple differences right off the bat of what makes this stage two better and different than the OEM. Now, these springs right here, as you can see, there is more of these springs. And as far as thickness, I can't really tell if there's any thickness difference. Um, I'd have to pull out like a caliper or something. Look, and there's only four here, and there's six in this clutch. Now, a lot of people would probably wonder, why is there a difference? Well, the stage two, the reason that it has the more springs here is because it makes the engagement stiffer now what that means is when this clutch starts to grab this is where your input shaft goes it's going to twist it's still the engine's still turning and still twisting so it's going to twist here input shaft is where the you know hooks to the transmission side right here so basically it kind of bends as you engage the clutch it's what makes the car not stall out it basically gives a forgiveness and a you know uh, when you let the clutch out it's kind of hard to explain that but that's what these springs are here for so if you know you were taking off just let the clutch out and these springs went here the car is going to stall out the clutch is just going to grab it that's all there is to it it's just going to bam but these right here kind of give you a a a what is that i'm uh, looking for a um kind of like a blanket of protection from the car stalling out now the higher stage you go the more springs are going to be the thicker the springs are going to be and the stiffer and harsher the clutch engagement is and the harder the clutch is going to grab. Um, anybody that kind of understands what I'm talking about or that has dealt with clutches understands what I mean by grab. Um, and that's why this one only has four. It's made to engage real nice, real soft. So it's not hard to drive. It's friendly for a daily driver. It's one of them. It's a real comfortable clutch to drive. It's, um, it's just a friendly cr clutch where this one's going to be a little more harsh and it's going to have a little bit more of a um a grabbiness to it and it's not something that a beginner would really want to get into um as he also they asked me what is a good clutch for a beginner stage one um if you don't plan on doing any performance otherwise i'm going to say go stage two because it's still not real bad and you can still have a you know a clutch that can handle a decent amount of performance gain before it starts slipping and starts not being able to do its job no more now the one clutch that is completely different than all of them is a stage four. And I'm going to show you why. Please excuse the mess. Um, still working in the room here. This is a stage four. I had to pull up an image of it because I don't have one um, and I because ha I have no need for it. And if you can see, if the phone will do it justice, there is no springs around this clutch. And the reason there's not is because this clutch is specifically meant for racing. It's meant as soon as that clutch goes, you're flooring it clutch grabs and you're taking off like a rocket that's what that's meant for it's meant to have harsh engagement because it's meant for a situation where the clutch is just being dumped um that's why it's there you can let the clutch out easy with this but you got to know what you're doing to keep the car from stalling out and in most situations you have no need for a clutch like this and busted this was honestly the clutch that i needed and it's made basically to reduce the amount of time of clutch engagement you know just it's there it's on it's ready to go and you ain't got to worry about tearing up the springs from harsh engagement because a lot of people seen where springs give out they break they shatter they pop out this clutch you don't have that problem it's just straight rivet now what makes the differences in the pressure plate pressure plates it depends on the springs and the pressure plate with the amount of force that it presses this clutch to the flywheel Normally when you go up the stage, the harsher and the, the harder that pressure plate is smashing this right here, the clutch disc, in between the pressure plate mating surface and the flywheel mating surface. So that's the whole thing that makes racing clutches different. I really wish I had more clutches here so I could show you in person instead of an image on the computer, but I have no need for this clutch and I can't honestly afford to just buy a clutch to do a video. I wish I could, but that's what that's for. Um... So if you have any more questions, guys, please drop a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be more than happy to uh, give you a reply and help explain a little more in depth if that's what you need. I'll be more than happy to, guys, no problem. But this has been Nitro Kid 98 Don't forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, and please check out the Nitro Kid 98 Facebook.